Welcome back to the educator.com Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 Fundamentals course. Before we actually get into Premiere, you can save time with keyboard shortcuts because when you're not going from here to here, back to here, over to here, back to here, over to here, it saves a little bit of time. So whatever um, keyboard shortcuts that we go over, practicing them will uh, make your job a little bit quicker and a little bit easier for you. However, I'm going to be using menus during this course. And the reason I'm doing that is because you can't see where my hands are. And I can tell you what I'm pushing. But if I'm going up and choosing a menu, you can see which menu I'm choosing. And you can see which item I'm choosing on that menu. It's not uh, a question of what I'm actually doing. So unless it's something that um, is very simple, such as the uh, the Grav key to maximize a a um, uh, a panel, if if it's something like that, I will just do it straight on the keyboard. But anything that's accessible from the menus, I'm going to use the menus because that way you will know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. And I don't want you to get lost inside of the um, uh, inside of the program wondering what did he push, what did he press? Because I might not remember to tell you what keyboard shortcuts I'm using. So that is something that is just for this course. So now we want to start getting around the interface. And the interface, let's go over to Premiere. And if your workspace was changed up like we did in the last project, we're going to go back to reset the current workspace. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. And let me show you some of the keyboard shortcuts to get around the interface. To get from panel to panel, some of these panels have a keyboard shortcut. And if you hold down the shift key and hit one, you will go to the project panel. If you hold down the shift key and hit two, you will go to the source monitor panel. If you hold down the shift key and hit three, you will go to the timeline panel. If you hold down the shift key and hit four, you will go to the program monitor panel. If you hold down the shift key and hit five, you will go to the effect controls. If you hold down the shift key and hit six, you will go to the audio mixer. If you hold down the shift key and hit seven, you will go to the effects panel, let you choose effects to use. If you hold down the shift key and hit eight, you will go to the media browser. And as you can see, it's open to wherever you were the last time you opened a media browser. So let's hit shift one and that will let us go to the project panel. Now I've already showed you how to maximize the panel and that is using the, the graph key, the key that's on the uh, keyboard right above the tab key and it's with the tilde key. You hit that one and it will cycle between maximum panel and back to regular size. Now let's say you are um, over here in your timeline panel and you want to do the same type of thing. You want to make it so it, you can see from here all the way to here but you want to stretch out your work area so it'll fill this whole area here. Uh, what you want to do is use the backslash key. You'll use the shift three to get over to your timeline panel and then hit the backs, the backslash key, which is the key right above the enter key. And as you will see, it's, it stretches out whatever you have in the timeline to fill 
most of the area of the timeline. It's not going to fill it completely, but it will fill most of it. That way you have a, a little bit of working room after that. Uh, if you hit it again, it will go back to what it was previously. So just like the graph key, it will cycle back and forth between the two. It is, um, it's one of those things that, um, uh, it makes it easier to, to get around in your, in your project. Now, if I have, let me show you another thing. If I have, um, more than one sequence open, now I have two sequences open. And I want to go into the uh, timeline panel, but I want to go to the second tab. If I use the shift three, it will bring me to whatever is um, on there, whatever is is selected originally. So if the second tab was selected over here and I hit shift three, it will go select that one so it'll go to whatever you had open previously now if you hit shift 3 again it will cycle through any tabs that are on the timeline panel so uh, if you're using solely the keyboard and you know you want to go to the second tab here just hit shift 3 until it's selected and it will make it much easier to use uh, just the keyboard instead of having to select each separate tab inside of your timeline. Now, 